Oh, that's okay. And the youngest one in the group usually gets to name the yeah, turtle every night. Yeah, she gets to name the turtle. So it needs to be a girl's name, though. No, wait a minute. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> I think Angelo is a great name. This day, this day in time, anything could be a girl's name, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is a loggerhead, right? This is a loggerhead, guy. Uh, well, look at her so tracks many. when she goes back out. She has a very distinctive track. Uh, oh my God! Yeah. Seven, eight times a year. When she, uh, you see how her back flippers lift up, and that's sort of when she's having a contraction and drops eggs, and she, her back flippers will lift up a little bit, right. and then you'll see one, two, or three eggs drop uh, each time she does that. Do they just pile up on top of each other? Yes, they do. Do they look like ping pong balls? Yeah, they do. Around, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she just dropped another one. Well, you can tell they're, now, very, they're very resilient. They don't, uh, they don't break from landing on each other. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, probably. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh. Several interesting features them? about the eggs, however, uh, one is that I think only in the first two or three days can the eggs be reoriented. And after about three days, if the eggs are moved and are turned at a different angle or something, yeah. the turtle won't develop. The tur basically, the turtle will die. It won't develop. <clears throat> and then there's always the thing about the uh, hot chicks and cool dudes. That the uh, uh, the temperature of the eggs during the incubation period determines whether it's going to be a male or a female turtle. It's like with alligators, right? Except it's backwards, which is really bizarre. But <laughs> <laughs> this one, it's, it's easy to remember the hot chicks and cool dudes. So the one, the eggs that are on the top are going to be female turtles, and the eggs that are on the bottom are going to be male turtles. Yeah. Does she know we're here? She definitely knows we're here, but uh, once she starts dropping eggs, uh, We've never known that the turtle would change its mind and return to the sea, or really to be disturbed by the people. I mean, basically, she knows we're here, but she's got to, she's committed to this process, and it isn't going to change because we're here. Uh, fantastic. So, uh, speaking loudly uh, doesn't disturb her. Come on, I'm Speaking good. loudly doesn't disturb her. We're not speaking loud. I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in awe. I don't think anything. I don't think anything's going to disturb It's amazing. I don't think so. I think she's in the organized turtle walk so we can do this lighting and excavation behind them because we have permits from uh, Florida Fish and Wildlife, U.S. Fish and Wildlife to do this, but it's something that you basically can't do as, a, uh, as an individual. Uh, so it's a reason that uh, you know, it's good to see the turtles on the turtle walk. It's kind of fun to watch the eggs drop, isn't it? This is magnificent. How, how deep is that hole? It looks like about, it, about a foot. Oh, you can see the bottom? Yeah. Oh, I, I can see it. Yeah. 